Welcome back to Gizak, a stock for insights. If you've just joined us, our focus is on Rifumo Investment Stockfell that has recruited 42 members within the space of two years by investing in local and global markets. I'm still with my co-host and resident guest expert, Tabiso Masurubele from Thai Vision Media. Numzan. We were just talking about how to motivate or how Rufumo Investment Stock File can motivate their members to stay. How can they recruit more individuals to join the group itself? I can imagine that with young people, you know, patients, young people don't have a lot of patience. Mm. So what strategies can they implement? Look, I think generally speaking, uh, people are attracted to success. Uh, and then success has different definitions. But people generally like to see uh, something that's good, that's positive, and then they're drawn to that. So one of the things that they should do, it's actually something that will help the group themselves. Uh, and it will automatically draw people to them. And those are simple things such as being organized. Uh, you know, being able to see when they've got a meeting, uh, arranging a meeting venue starting on time, keeping minutes, uh, making sure you've got an agenda, and then everything is run in an orderly fashion. And I think once people are exposed to how they manage their group and they should deliver on the things that they promise, once they all abide by their constitution and they do things in a particular way, if they decide on having a uniform, then everyone should then have the same uniform, keeping the same uniform. What that does, people then will not want to join you based on what you say, but they will want to join your stock file based on what they see. And what they see will be a successful group of people who are actually taking the group forward and benefiting as individuals. So there's this thing called word of mouth, which is a bit more powerful than, you know, if you were going to put up a banner uh, in, in, in your surrounding saying, join Rafumo stock file. But instead of that, having people, you know, who've joined and said, I'm very happy, at reform. We do things in an orderly fashion. Uh, there's transparency when it comes to how our money is managed. Every time I pay over my money, I know exactly where it goes. At the end of the month, I get a report on how our money is being used, how it's been invested, what the returns are, and all of these things. So you're more likely to get people joining on the back of getting positive comments from people who've experienced reform, as opposed to them going out on a campaign just to woo people and not keeping the promises that they're saying. So I'd, I'd say they must continue focusing on running their stock file well and delivering on the things that they promised that individual members would get. And we see those elements quite well here. I mean, 42 members across the country. Mm. Um, they touched on how they want to look at other ways of having to raise funds as well. Um, what, what approach can they implement here? What opportunities are out there for them? I think the immediate opportunity actually is linked to the fact that they are scattered across, across the country. So ordinarily, you'd imagine that you have a group of people that scattered around the country, so that makes it difficult for them to administer. But the advent of technology as well as has assisted this process where you're able to have a group, even though you know someone might be in Cape Town and someone in Limpopo and so on, you're still able to have a stock file because they can still have their meetings via technological platforms and make sure that they run their group. So one of the advantages is that it means they're a national group. They're not localized. So already being having a national footprint might be an advantage. So there are different things they can look at. What we always say is that instead of, you know, looking at, you know, different channels and television stations and so on, what you then ought to look at are your immediate surroundings. Look at where the opportunities are. More often than not, you find that one member of the group might have an idea to start a business. Uh, whether, you know, if you go to Limpopo, with, you know, one might be looking at starting an avocado farm. Or, or, or even closer with mm. them having an idea of investing in a printing or investing in printing merchandise as well. 100%. So what Would they, that be viable for them to do? Absolutely, it would be viable for them. And that would do two things. One, it would promote the group, but it also generate revenue for them. What they then do is that they, gen they then print this merchandise that they've branded as Lufuno Stokwa, but they sell it to their members. So you don't get it for free as a member. You have to buy it. And then they could encourage maybe their members to buy for family members or encourage family members to buy. So you'll find that each of the 42 members 
can at least maybe have 10 sales to 10 family members and then sell that merchandise that way. And then you build from that. Once they're getting into merchandise, they then look at what other things uh, are, are required within the local community. But, but then they, mm. they had stated that in order to invest in print merchandise is to sell to the members and not necessarily to the community. Yes, but so, they can extend it. They can extend it. So if you're selling to the members alone, you're selling to 42 people. But if you then say each of the 42 people must take five T-shirts and sell to five family members, your revenue then increases because then the family members are associated with Lifuno Investment through you as a member. And then what that does, it increases your revenue base. You can then, and you also don't have to once you have the capacity to buy t-shirts and merchandise them or merchandise different things, you don't have to do it for Lufuno only, Refuno only. You can then do it for different things. If there's a local business which employs people, you can then approach them and say, we've got capacity, we've built a capacity that merchandises, you know, clothing or, or tools of trade or whatever it is. You then extend it as an opportunity to say there's a, there's a, garage, you know, a petrol station that requires uniform, you then approach them to say, we can actually create branded merchandise for you. And that becomes a revenue stream. So that talks to identifying opportunities within your locality, like I was saying. So within the 42 people, there's a great chance that one or more within those 42 are already running a small business. Uh, that might need upscaling. So what you end up having is that instead of looking elsewhere, you then look at how you can invest in someone who already has the blueprint and a business plan and they just require additional resources to grow. Then it becomes, it doesn't become an individual business, but it becomes a business that was the where Refuno invest in a business that's going to be successful and belongs to Refuno. So word of mouth diversify, look for investment opportunities, and organize. 100%. <laughs> investment stockpiles are an important pillar of the economic value chain, which is why it's essential for business leaders to understand the inner workings of stockpiles. It's also important for members to understand the goals outlined by the investment stockpile so that they can move together in the same direction. If your stock file needs to know more about this broad topic, contact us using the details on the screen. Until next week, it's goodbye from now. This program was brought to you by Thai Vision Media, helping stock files and burial societies reach their goals.